mixed numbers, and improper fractions on the number line. We know that a fraction represents parts of a whole. Suppose we have two buildings. The distance between them is three-fourths of a mile. Let us use the number line to represent the distance between the two buildings. We divide the space between the whole numbers into four equal parts. The fraction three-fourths is here, three parts from zero. What if the distance between the two buildings was up to this point? Then, the distance will be one mile, a whole number. What if it was up to this point? This point is three parts out of four after the whole number one, just like three-fourths. But, because it follows one, not zero, it is represented by the addition of one and three-fourths. We drop the plus sign and just say one and three-fourths. This is called a mixed number. It is made up of a whole number and a fraction. Take the mixed number two and one-fourth. How can we represent it on the number line? We have two holes, so we locate the number two on the number line, and then we count one part. This point here represents two and one-fourth. Remember that the mixed number two and one-fourth is actually two plus one-fourth, and two here represents two holes each made up of four parts. Because the denominator we have equals four. A complete whole is four out of four, or four-fourths. So two plus one-fourth is also four-fourths plus four-fourths plus one-fourth. And if we add those, we get nine in the numerator and four in the denominator. This fraction is called an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. But nine-fourths is simply another way to say we have two and one-fourth, and they are located on the same point on the number line. We can just start at zero and simply count the parts we have. So we have one, two, three, four, and we continue counting. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have nine fourths. In this lesson, you learned how to represent mixed numbers and improper fractions on the number line.